Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Ask Coach Marie. I'm Marie O'Neill, founder of Padma Life Coaching and your host on this series. This is the place where you ask a question and I give you my unique opinion as a life renewal coach, astrologer, and past life regression facilitator. I'm not a therapist and I will never tell you what you must do. Each week, On Friday, a new video is released with me answering two questions from the viewers. I'll also talk about various other topics, such as consciousness, how the universe works, astrology, past life regression, various other life renewal topics. Let's go ahead and get started then with the questions from this week. Let's see. Our first question comes from Christy, who is in Roanoke, New York. Christy writes, how can I find a sense of purpose in my life beyond just surviving day to day? That's a very good question, Christy. And it is one that I believe a lot of people are asking. So thank you for asking the question. And hopefully this question helps you and others who listen to it. There's a few things that you can do. One is get an astrology reading. An astrology reading is going to inform you on the work that you're here to do, your mission, your gifts, how you are to basically live in this lifetime. So that's the first thing. That's one of the things that I would suggest. The other thing, which I did myself is I went back to my childhood in my mind's eye to look for clues, clues to what made me happy. What did I enjoy doing back then? And what I found is for me, I loved acting. So I went out and signed on to be an extra in movies in the town that I lived in. That helped me to start doing other things that got me out of the rut of just existing day to day. That led me to actually my mission in the world. But it started with going back to childhood to see what I enjoy then. Now, I'm asking you to do that because as children, Children usually, they don't have the hangups that we have as adults. They know what is going to bring them joy. What we do as adults is we poo-poo what we did when we were kids, thinking that, oh my goodness, that's nonsense and that won't lead anywhere. I know for a fact that it does. So I would suggest starting there. Pay attention to your dreams also, uh, you know, because your dream world will is, is rich. All of our dream world is rich. Doesn't mean that we always remember our dreams when we wake up. We can and you can, Christy. Anybody can. All you really have to do is set the intention to remember your dreams. When you go to bed at night, you want to set yourself up for success with your dreams. You want to ask your higher mind, your soul to relate to you in your dreams, what it is you need to do for you next to help you to find your purpose in life and go to sleep and you'll dream and you'll get information. Now it may take a few dreams for you to get the complete message. You're also going to have to decipher the dreams, but you will get information that way. So you want to, you can also volunteer your time with different groups that will help. It will help you figure out if you like doing certain things. For example, you might volunteer in a hospital ward or maybe at a shelter or where whatever is going on in your neighborhood or in your town where volunteers are needed. I'm sure there are, they're there, 
volunteer for some of those services and see if there's anything that that jogs your not your memory but your interest the other thing is with volunteering it's amazing when you're helping somebody else how much you actually end up helping yourself so you want to get an astrology reading volunteer your time look at your childhood to see what it what made you joyous back then and maybe start there to revisit uh, doing those things. The other thing is dreaming. Uh, so there's a few things that you can do to help you get out of your your rut and also to help you find your purpose. One other thing, you can also take classes. The community college, and I'm sure you have a community college where you live, there's plenty of classes available to the community. So look at those and see if there's anything that piques your interest and start taking some classes. You will find, I'm sure, if you do a few of these things, a few of these suggestions, you'll find your purpose. You'll be led to it. All right. Now, what are we going to talk about today? Our topic for today is sign and symbol. We're going to talk about actually nature, sign and symbol. The reason that I want to talk about this is I want to introduce you to it, actually. A lot of people don't know that it actually exists. When we ask the universe or our guides for information, for help, that help and that information usually comes in the form of a lot of times sign and symbol. And that means that nature is involved. Sometimes you see an ad on TV that is the answer to the question that you had. But in this case, we're talking about animals. What I have found is I've been amazed when I've asked a question to the universe, the answer sometimes comes through an animal. They are the messengers of the universe. And how you work with them is it's, it's quite fascinating. You ask your question, go about your business. Sometimes you'll see a bird doing something that the bird that isn't natural for the bird to be doing. Then you know you need to take notice and pay attention. You want to look up information on that bird, look up its characteristics because there's a message for you. I've seen where deer have been doing what I consider strange things, <laughs> but whatever is not characteristic for that animal to be doing, that's what you're looking for. Here's an example. Once long, long time ago, I was out on my back porch and I looked up and I saw seven hawks flying straight towards me. They were flying from the north to the south and they banked and went west. Well, first of all, I had not seen seven hawks flying together. So that was a clue that there was a message for me. So I did a little bit of research to find out what the hawks meant, they of course mean look close. You need to pay attention, something is coming. And there's seven of them. That brings in the numerology. Seven means healing. So I knew I was going to be given an opportunity for healing. They were also coming from the north. And I'll talk about the directions another time, but for our purposes here, the north is the direction of our ancestors, of spirit. So I knew there was a message coming from spirit. There was an opportunity and from the ancestors and there was gonna be an opportunity uh, for me to heal. I knew that it was going to be an opportunity for me to heal because the hawks, when they were flying south, they actually banked and went to the west, which is the place of introspection. So I knew that something was up. Now, I didn't know what it was going to be. Two weeks later, 
it manifested. So I was being given a heads up that something was coming. This is how the universe gets messages to us. What I find is when you start paying attention, you start seeing the signs more. The signs are always there for you. It's just a matter of if you see them or not. One of the books that I use for to learn about animals and their characteristics and their meaning, if you see them, is a book by Ted Andrews called Animal Speaks. That to me is, that's my Bible as far as animals because he, he lists the birds, the the uh, the fowl, the, you know, most of the animals are listed there and he goes through a long list of their characteristics and what they mean when you see them. I definitely recommend that you start paying attention to what's going on around you. The other thing with sign and symbol, you want to think about what it is you were thinking about before you saw the animal doing what it, whatever it was that was not characteristic, because that plays a part in what the message is from the divine for you. Now, I hope that helps. Now, our next question comes from Margaret, who is in Denver, Colorado. Margaret asks, what are some goals or dreams that you've had for yourself and how did you achieve them? Wow, that's really nice. Thank you, Margaret, for that question. There's been a few goals, actually a lot of goals that I've had and that I've already achieved. One of the goals that I had was when I was a kid and was when it was me wanting my education. I grew up in a community where we had very little money. There was very little opportunity to go to college. And yet, as a little kid, I knew that I was going to go to college. And it wasn't just because my grandmother wanted me to go to college or my mother wanted me to go to college. It was because I wanted it. Now, how did I achieve that goal? One is I knew it was going to happen. I knew intuitively that it was actually going to happen. And I kept that dream alive within me. It took years. I'm not going to say decades. It took years for me to achieve that goal, but I did. And it turns out that, you know, Sometimes the goal, to reach a goal, we're not able to go in a straight line. Sometimes we have to go left or weave right or, or go in a different direction, and that is okay too. I'm telling you this because if there's a goal that you want to reach and you're being asked to go in a different direction, don't just say no to that because you don't know how the universe is planning to get you whatever it is you want to accomplish, whatever the goal is. What I ended up doing is moving twice, meeting my future husband, and then going to college, which was amazing. I'm. It took me, well, I started with that dream when I was young. I mean, really young. I had to be 14 or 15 years old. And when I got my master's degree, I was 29. Yeah, I was the youngest student actually in the program. That's one goal that I've had. Now, with goals, you must have determination. You must be able to stay the course if it's a worthy goal and if it's something that is right for you. You've got to have endurance because sometimes these goals, these dreams just don't happen overnight. I have a friend of mine who calls me a turtle. She said, because she, and she calls herself a rabbit because she runs around, just runs here and there and has a whole bunch of things going on. And I stay the course with whatever it is that is in front of me. I just keep plugging away and keep going keep going, keep going. That's actually how I achieve my goals 
I set the goal. I put a system in place a lot of times to achieve the goal. And I just keep working it. I just keep plugging away and I never give up. Never give up. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that answers your question. If you would like to learn more about me, please go to my website um, and I will put the link down below actually for the website, for the book website. If you would like to get a reading with me, please also email me. I will put that link down below. Send your questions to me at padmacoach at icloud.com. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube station. That not only helps the algorithms, it helps you by notifying you when new videos are being released. I want to wish you all a wonderful holiday season. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're happy and many blessings to all of you. Bye-bye.